At this stage, I'm going to start to suggest some kind of uh, shoulder girdle here. We've got the sternomastoid muscles, but they need to actually attach to some kind of uh, clavicle. So we'll start out creating the sternum. Go back to our medium polish brush. Just polish that front surface down. Now we're going to need a, a clavicle. So to do that, I'm actually going to turn on the light box. I'm going to bring in a shadow box. So if I go to the tool menu, I should have a selection of shadow boxes here. And I'm going to grab shadow box 512 just by double clicking on it. Go back to my character here, and I'm going to append that shadow box in. And it comes in down here. I'm actually going to have to use transpose move to move it up where I want the clavicle to be. Turn on transparency. Turn off perspective. And now anything that I draw with a mask will be created as a piece of geometry here. So I'm going to start out just by creating the general size and shape. And once you're happy with your shape, you can come down here to the subtool menu, turn off shadow box, and that'll leave you with the actual piece of geometry here that you can then further sculpt. I'm going to use transpose move to shift it back into place. I'm going to rotate it. Now let's go ahead and use the clip brushes to actually give some interesting shapes to it. I'm going to undo that rotation. Do the clip brushes now. Let's isolate it from all the other subtools just for the moment.
Okay, now we'll turn on everything else. And we'll use our transpose tools to move it into place. Now to mirror that across, I'm just going to go to Z Plugin, Subtool Master, and then just click Mirror. We'll tell it to merge into one subtool across the X axis. And there we go. We save ourselves a bit of a step and some trouble in merging those two into a single subtool. So we're starting to get some shapes here, some interesting stuff happening. Let's go ahead and save our work. Now I'm going to use the shadow box to create some sort of gear-like shapes. I'll append that shadow box back in. Should be right there. And it still comes in way down there, so I'll just need to do transpose, move it up here. And let's create a nice little articulating kind of gear here for the uh, the point where the sternomastoid meets the clavicle. Turn on transparency and I can turn off the rib cage and really we can turn off the clavicle as well. Alright, I'm going to turn on X-Symmetry Let's see where my other side of my symmetry is here. I'm going to go to Transform, Activate Symmetry, turn on Radial Symmetry, and we'll just turn on all of these. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, we'll turn off Z, turn off Y. There we go. There's our Radial Symmetry right there. What I want to do is I want to create a gear shape. And I'll just do that by painting with radial symmetry turned on. You can see the interesting kind of shapes this helps us make. So let's do this. We need a harder brush, so there we go. The nice thing about this is you can very easily create negative spaces just like that. Now let's go ahead and flatten off some of these rounded shapes here just so it feels a little bit more mechanical. front view. Let's just drag a marquee right there. Now that's going to define where the shape will be created. Once we've completed drawing that, we just click shadow box to exit out of shadow box, and there we have our object. Now I can just use the same clip brushes or the clip curve if I want to narrow it a bit more.
and I can scale it up. Turn off symmetry at this point. Turn off that uh, radial symmetry. We can rotate it. And let's move it back so the center of rotation is about at the center of that piston sort of shape there. Actually, come to think of it, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to duplicate this guy, move one copy over, and I'm going to scale this copy down. Like that. And we'll duplicate this again, and we'll move this copy over to the opposite side. And now I'll just merge down. Click Always OK on that. Merge down. There we go. Now I've got a uh, three gear mesh. So I'll go ahead and rotate this. And then we'll just move this back in space a bit. Turn off our transparency. There we go. And we might even decide that we want to enlarge this just a little bit, just so it sticks out a little more clear. There we go. And we'll use Z plugin, Subtool Master, mir mirror across the X axis to turn that. There we go. Now we've got those two merged into one shape. And we can actually duplicate that and continue to use those in other areas. If I were to duplicate this now, I can move it up.